Recording in progress. Hello, this is Reverend Twyla Reese coming to you from Unity of Merced in Merced, California. Thank you for tuning in and being with me wherever it is that you are on this wonderful, beautiful planet. I spoke on Sunday about zeal. Zeal is exuberance. Zeal is energy. Zeal is vibrancy. Zeal is having get up and go. How's your get up and go these days? Zeal is also one of the 12 powers that we teach about in unity, uh, written so much about by uh, Charles Fillmore. Zeal, along with life and faith and imagination and order and strength and love and the others that I haven't quite mentioned here because I don't have the list right in front of me. But zeal, zeal, how's your zeal? How are you doing? How exuberant are you these days? Change of the seasons, that sometimes lends itself to a different energy, different ways that we show up. Sometimes it takes us a little bit of time to adjust to a new state of being when the weather changes. But I want you to take just a moment and feel into your body. How are you? How are you feeling? How is your excitement about life? Just breathe into that. Zeal can be, like I said, exuberant. It can be, it can be loud. It can be happy, happy, happy. Or maybe it's for you, ex zeal is a quiet expression of the gratitude that you have in life. It doesn't have to be all up and in your face. But it's so much about your vitality your vitality. Loss of zeal is an early warning system letting us know that it's time to reevaluate how our life is going, how we feel about our life. Whenever we, we get into a mood or we feel like we're in a rut, take some time and do some self-reflection and look at what is bringing you joy in your life. Charles Fillmore, Unity's co-founder with his wife, Myrtle Fillmore, wrote, he was 94 years old when he wrote this. I fairly sizzle with zeal and enthusiasm and spring forth with a mighty faith to do the things that ought to be done by me. Isn't that a great statement at 94? I fairly sizzle with zeal and enthusiasm and spring forth with a mighty faith to do the things that ought to be done by me. We don't know exactly what Charles Fillmore's state of being was when he, when he wrote this statement. Maybe he was on top of the world and he was filled with that zeal and enthusiasm. He also may have been affirming that he wanted to be filled with that zeal and enthusiasm. That maybe at 94, I wish I had known him at 94, that maybe he was feeling a little tired in that moment and needed an affirmation to move him on through. But this I can tell you about that man. Regardless of where he was in that moment, he believed beyond a shadow of a doubt in this statement within just absolutely for sure he believed it shows in all of his teachings that he left us the power of affirming and claiming what it is that you want in the world I fairly sizzle with zeal and enthusiasm and spring forth with a mighty faith to do the things that ought to be done by me. 
What a beautiful statement. And I use it often. I use it often both when I am feeling already exuberant and I add to it by using that affirmation. And I also use it in times when I feel I need a pick-me-up, when I need a little push to move me on in my day, to help me stop and reevaluate where I am with my life. What is bringing you joy? What is bringing you excitement? What brings you exuberance? What makes you smile? That is really what what I, I wanted to bring to you. What brings you joy? I want to share with you, this is a writing, very short, very brief, but it is uh, given to us by Kurt Vonnegut, the wonderful author. It's called, perhaps you've seen it online, it's called Going Out to Buy an Envelope. Kurt Vonnegut tells his wife, He's going out to buy an envelope. Oh, she says, well, you know, you're not a poor man. You know, why don't you go online and buy a hundred envelopes and put them in the closet? And then you'll have an envelope whenever it is you want one. And so he says, and so I pretend not to hear her and go out and get an envelope because I'm going to have a hell of a good time in the process of buying one envelope. I meet a lot of people. I see some great looking babies and a fire engine goes by and I give them a thumbs up and I'll ask a woman, what kind of dog is that? And I don't know. The moral of the story is we're here on earth to mess around. And of course, the computers will do us out of that. And what the computer people don't realize is that we are dancing animals. You know, we love to move around and it's like we're not supposed to dance anymore. That's how he was feeling in that moment. It's like we're not supposed to dance anymore. Well, I don't think that's true. I don't think anyone wants to take our dance away from us. But his point is well taken. We get into a routine. We spend hours sitting in front of our computers and on our devices. And we forget to go out and see all the smiling babies in the world. We forget to go out and see all of the, the adorable dogs and, and have small talk and say hello and give thumbs up to the to the fire truck when it goes by or whatever it is. Ever since I have, have read this, um, I'll tell my dog when we go out for a walk, it's like, okay, Belle, come on, let's go buy an envelope. We don't need to go out and go do anything, but I just like to get out of the house and out into the world where I am spiritually fed and find the exuberance of energy. I fairly sizzle with zeal and enthusiasm as I leap forward with a mighty faith to do the things that ought to be done by me. Go online, get in front of your computer, since you're sitting there anyway, and just go to YouTube and find videos of laughing babies. It is the absolute best therapy in the world. What brings you joy? Do that. If you're already doing that, do more of that. And fairly sizzle with zeal and enthusiasm. Go out and buy your envelope, your metaphorical envelope. Bring into your life more exuberance, more joy, more laughter. There is so much of it out there. There is so much good. There is so much beauty. There is so much love. From 2 Timothy 1.16, 
Rekindle the gift of God that is within you. Rekindle the gift of God that is within you, that is love and light and laughter and joy. So I'm going to leave you here with the thought of a meme that I saw online as I was sitting in front of my computer. Due to personal reasons, I will be shining brightly and unapologetically for the foreseeable future. What an awesome sentiment. Due to personal reasons, I will be shining brightly and unapologetically for the foreseeable future. If you're already there, awesome. Go get more of that. If you're not quite there, take a breath. Go out and buy an envelope and see the beauty of the world around you and fairly sizzle with zeal and enthusiasm. And I'll see you soon. Bye.